Here is today's weekly substack and some poems. The journey is the destination. In a world that often craves instant results, we may find ourselves impatient, eager for change to happen now. Yet true transformation is not something that can be rushed. Like a grape ripening on the vine or a tree maturing over time, the process of inner growth and awakening demands patience and dedication. The journey of self-discovery and healing is not about a destination, but about being fully committed to each step along the way. It's about showing up with 100% of our being, even when the path leads us into the darkest valleys. We may encounter moments of hopelessness, shadows of fear, and the heaviness of existential aloneness. But the key is to keep walking by embracing the journey rather than focusing on the outcome, we allow for a deeper transformation to occur. As we let go of resistance and detoxify our lives emotionally, mentally and physically, something profound begins to rise within us. This is not the result of striving for awakening, but rather the natural wisdom that emerges from deep surrender and commitment to the process. True transformation requires us to relinquish our attachments, our desires to hold on to certain aspects of ourselves or our lives. We cannot straddle two worlds, holding on to the old while seeking the new. Instead, we are called to let go of everything that no longer serves us, creating space for the divine to enter fully. Ultimately, the journey is about letting go of control, surrendering fully and allowing the divine to lead us. It's not about arriving at a specific point but about living in alignment with the deeper wisdom that arises through every step of the path. True commitment means offering everything with complete devotion, letting go of what holds us back and trusting the journey, no matter how long it takes. This is the real contact. This is the real contract we make with the beloved an all-encompassing surrender that opens the door to profound transformation. And a few poems from this week on X. The fire of your longing, when bright enough, will burn up your karma, but you must be total in your devotion. Look inside yourself, you are a book, a tale, a myth, a tragedy and a fairy story. All this is you. Don't dumb yourself down or play small when there is something incredible happening in your whole being. Stop trying to fix yourself and deepen into awareness and unconditional acceptance. In acceptance and awareness, all things are welcomed home. Everything is loved without any condition being placed on it. This is the unfolding journey into equanimity, which is the path of grace. You realize the world is in you and you are in the world and then you go deeper and you realize the world is you and you are the world and then you go deeper and there is no world and there is no you. Friend, don't sit so far away from the fire, hidden in the shadows like a ghost. Come and take your place here in the light Warm your cold bones and let the fire's love turn your loneliness 
to beauty. No one here is different from you. Each carries their loneliness in some special way. Return to the silent essence of being. All things of form arise and fall. Learn from the sky and how it patiently stays open and present as the clouds billow and break and dissolve into the silence. The end of division in you brings a great equanimity and a softening of hardness. All this defensiveness comes to an end and life becomes ordinarily grace-filled, which sounds exalted, but is entirely natural. If you could see the luminosity of your being, you would cease all your hostilities, put down all destructive weapons, and instantly love all things beyond measure. It is only our blindness to the truth that keeps us at war. Last one. There is a hand that holds you in the darkest of times. The agitated self cannot know this, but the sensitive heart sometimes feels the warm brush of grace in a moment of tenderness. Thanks. <laughs>